Hello, kindergarten. Happy Friday. It is time to get started with our Haggerty video. I know you guys have been working really, really hard this week. So let's go ahead and do our last video <clears throat> this week. We're going to go over our sight words, do our rhyming words, and breaking some words apart. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Our first word is who. Get ready. Who. Who. Like, who is that? Who is with you? Who? Get ready. Eat. Eat. Like, eat your dinner or the dog is ready to eat. Eat. <clears throat> new. New. Like, wow, that's a new dress. That's a new bag. Are those new shoes? New. Must. You must do your homework. You must eat your dinner or you're getting no dessert. Must. <clears throat> so let's go over those words one more time. We're gonna say them two times. Get ready. Must. Must. <clears throat> new. New. Eat. Eat. Who. Who. Nice job, you guys. All right. Let's go ahead and dive into our rhyming words. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. I'm only going to say one word, but I want you to think about some words that rhyme with it. I'll give some examples, but I want you to think of some on your own as well. So let's go ahead and get started. If I say the word chop, say it to yourself. Chop. What rhymes with chop? Get ready. Hop. And now I want you to think of some words. What rhymes with chop? Hop. Chop. Get ready, next word. That. Say it to yourself, that. What rhymes with that? Hmm, like the word cat. Cat rhymes with that. Get ready for your next word. Shine. What rhymes with shine? Hmm, like when you whine, when you whine and complain. Wine rhymes with shine, so shine and wine, okay? So now I want you to think of some words on your own. I'm gonna say some more words and I want you to think of some words that rhyme with these words. And there's lots and lots of examples. So here we go. White. Say it to yourself, white. What rhymes with white? Take a moment to think. What rhymes with white? Next word. <clears throat> shell. What rhymes with shell? Shell. What rhymes with shell? Last word. That. That. What rhymes with that? That. All righty. Nice job, you guys. Now we're going to move on to listening to the beginning sound. And the beginning sound is gonna be a digraph. And remember, a digraph are just two letters that make one sound. So like SH makes the SH sound, that's a digraph. Two letters making a completely different sound. So we're listening for the beginning digraphs of the words. Are they the same or are they not the same? So you're gonna be thinking in your mind, yes, they're the same, or no, they are not the same. I'm gonna say two words. You're gonna be thinking, yes, they're the same. No, they're not the same. Here we go. Chain and cheer. Get ready. Chain and cheer. Are they the same? Chain has the ch sound. Cheer has the ch sound at the beginning. So yes, they're the same. Next one. Short, thick. I'll say it again, short, thick. You're thinking, hmm, are they the same? Short has the sh sound, thick has the th sound, so they are not the same. Now I want you to try some on your own. Get ready. Child, chance. I'll say it again, child, chance. I'll say it one more time. Child, chance. Are they the same at the beginning? Yes or no? Next one. 
she shirt. I'll say it again. She shirt. Listen one more time. She shirt. Are they the same? Yes or no? Last one. Get ready. They change. Listen again. They change. One more time. They change. Are they the same or are they not? All right, nice job, you guys. Pat yourselves in the back, say, good job, me. Working so hard this morning, thank you. So now it's time to switch it up. We are going to hear words that are broken apart and we have to figure out the words and read them the fast way, okay? So we're gonna hear it broken apart and then we're gonna say the words <clears throat> the fast way. Get ready. The ick. Say that with me. The ick. The Ick, thick, thick. That word is thick. Let's try another one. The at, the at, that, that. The word is that. So now I want you to try some on your own. I'm going to say the word broken apart. You have to say the word the fast way. What is that word? Get ready. The O's. The O's. The O's. What is that word? Next one. W eel. W eel. W eel. What is that word? Last one. W if. W if. W if. What is that word? All right, you guys. Nice job. We're going to keep it moving. <clears throat> so now we're going to be listening for the ending sound. And our ending sounds are also going to be digraphs. So like th and ch and sh. Those are all digraphs and we're listening for those digraphs at the end <clears throat> of the word. We use our fingers to help us sound out these words or we could even use the roller coaster strategy. So remember when we use roller coaster and we sound out a word, we might go wh if. So know that th sound is at the end, okay? But let's try it with some digraphs. Again, we're listening for the digraph at the end of the word. Get ready. We're gonna do the word mouth. Do it with me. Mm, alf. Mm, alf. What's at the end of mouth? I think you heard the th sound just like me. At the end of mouth is th. Next one. Fish. Get ready. Ish. 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 So I'm hearing that sh sound at the end of the word. Now I want you to try some on your own. Again, you can either use the roller coaster strategy or you could use your fingers to break the words apart. Okay, so let's get ready. I'm gonna say the word, you are going to figure out the digraph at the end of the word. Here we go. Touch, say that word again, touch. Break the word apart, figure out what's at the end. Touch, next word. Push, say it again, push. What's at the end, push. Very good. Get ready for the last word. Cloth. Say it to yourself. Cloth. Again, cloth. All righty. Nice job, you guys. We are going to keep it moving. Here we go. So now we are going to say a word and then we're going to break it apart. We are going to say a word and then we're going to break it apart. So get ready. Our first word is though. 
Get ready. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Say it again. Mm. Oh. So, that's that word, though, broken apart or using stretchy the snake. Let's do another one. Thank. Thank. Mm. A. Notice how this word has four sounds. Let's try that again. Mm. Thank. So some words are going to have three sounds. Some words are going to have four sounds. So again, use your fingers to help you break apart or keep track of the sounds in the words. I'm going to have you do some on your own. Listen carefully for these next set of words. Here we go. Break apart the word choke. I'll say it again, choke. Break apart the word choke. Next word, shells. Say it again, shells. Break apart the word shells. Nice job. Listen for your last word. Shade, say it again, shade. One more time, shade. Break apart the word shade. All right, nice job, you guys. Let's move on to our next part, here we go. So now we are going to listen for the beginning sounds and we're going to change them, okay? So we are going to take away that beginning sound and then we're gonna add a new one to make a new word. And remember, these two words rhyme. So like for example, if I have the word can't and I take away k and I put in h, I get the word hat. So the words still rhyme, cat and hat, I just change the beginning sound. Let's try it and we're gonna be changing the digraphs or the blends. Here we go. Say the word snip. Say the word snip. Take away sn, sn and put in sh. Put in sh, you get the word ship. So I go from snip to ship. Next one. Say plane. Say it again. Plane. Take away pull. Put in ch. You get the word chain. Let's do that again. Say plane. Take away pull. Put in ch. You get the word chain. So you went from plane to chain. Next one, <clears throat> say glove, say it again, glove. Take away ghoul, put in sh, you get the word shove. Let's try that again. Say glove, take away ghoul, put in sh, you get the word shove. So you went from glove to shove. Now I want you to try some on your own. Here we go. Say flake, say it again, flake. Take away fool, put in shh, what word do you get? So flake, take away fool, put in shh, what's the new word? And remember, these words rhyme. Next one. Say please, please. Take away pull, put in wh, what's the new word? Say please, take away pull, put in wh. What's the new word? Last one. Say spark. Spark. Take away sp. Put in sh. What's the new word? Say spark. Take away sp. Put in sh. What's the new word? All right, you guys. Great work so far. Pat yourselves in the back. Say good job, me. Kiss your brains. You're doing an awesome, amazing job. We are almost finished. Thank you for being great troopers. All right. So now we are going to hear a part of a word and we are going to add a beginning digraph. We are going to hear part of a word and then we're gonna add the beginning digraph to figure out what word does it make. So we're putting words together. Let's go ahead and get started. Say the word elf. Say the word elf. Put in sh, what's the new word? Shelf. 
say the word elf, put in sh, you get the word shelf. Kind of like a bookshelf, like you put something on a shelf. Next one. Say itch. Itch. Put in wh. You get the word witch. Let's try that again. Say itch. <clears throat> Put in wh. You get the word witch. Next one. Say hour. Say hour. Put in sh. You get the word shower. Say hour. Put in sh. You get the word shower. All right, good practice, you guys. Now I want you to try some on your own. I'm going to say part of the word, then the beginning sound, and you are going to figure out what that word makes. What word does that make? We're putting these parts together to make a word. Let's get started. Say eat. Eat. Put in wa. What's the word? Say eat. Put in wa. What's the word now? Nice job. Say ill. Say it again. Ill. Put in ch. What's the word? Say ill. Put in ch. What's the new word? Nice work. Last one. Say at. At. Put in th. What's the new word? Say at. Put in th. What's the new word? Nice job. All right, we have come to our last part. As you know, we are going to hear a word and then we're taking away the beginning sound and we're gonna see what is left, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Say cheek, take away ch, what's left? Eek, say cheek, take away ch, what's left? Eek, nice job, next one. Say where. Where, take away wha. What's left? Air. Say where, take away wha. What's left? Air. Last one. Say shame. Shame. Take away sh. You're left with aim. Say shame, take away sh. You're left with aim. All right. Now I want you to try some on your own. I'm gonna say a word, take away the beginning sound. What is left? Here we go. Say whirl, say it again. Whirl, take away wh, what's left? Again, if you have whirl, take away wh, what's left? Nice work, next one. Say shy, shy, take away sh, what's left? Again, shy, take away sh, what's left? Last one. Say chum, chum, take away ch, what's left? Say chum, take away ch, what's left? All right, you guys, you did a fantastic, amazing job. Kiss your brain. Pat yourself in the back, say good job, me. And now let's close ourselves out with a great Friday cheer. Let's do the firecracker cheer to really celebrate all of our hard work and success. Here we go. All right, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Thank you so much for working hard this week. Have a great weekend and see you later. Bye-bye.